This video is all about using the container Flexbox in Gutenberg. If you use a Gutenberg page editor, one of the most helpful plugins is Spectra. It adds a ton of blocks to your Gutenberg page editor, one of them being the container Flexbox. The first example that I want to show you is a simple one. Say you're writing a blog post and we have our usual setup where you got your heading and your paragraph and then you wanted to put in two info boxes. Normally when you put these in you would have to put them in and they would appear vertically because um, they order them vertically norm by default. If you put them within a container, so I have my container block and then I drop the info boxes in there, you no longer have to use columns and rows for this layout. You can just select the container block, go over to the flex properties. Normally it's ordered vertically, but now we're gonna order them left to right. So that puts the blocks side by side in this container. Uh, additionally, you can adjust the container width and a minimum height to say 500. It's kind of like the section block in or the group block. So now that we've adjusted the height, I can go back to the flex properties and tell them top of the container, middle of the container, bottom of the container. And then if you have an extra wide section where if I close down all of these side windows, you could justify the, um, the blocks within that wide section. All right, so the next uh, example I want to show you is in the templates. So Spectra also comes with templates and you can get a better idea of how to use these containers by looking at a template. So I'll go to my pages template now to get a template all you got to do is start a new page click the template kits and this is where I put in this page so here's the template that I inserted let's look at the little tree uh, list view you can see it's just a bunch of containers on the top level and each container is kind of like a section of the page where they can adjust the settings for that section. If we look at this container here, we have two containers within it. So the top container tells the layout right here under the flex properties that I want these two inner containers to be left to right, to be side by side. And I want them centered within the block probably has a minimum height no it doesn't so that's just how it is so we have them centered and side by side if you look at this container all it contains is an image and if you look at this container it contains two info boxes but these are designated to be vertical so if you look at the container settings they're vertical here it's the same thing for these. You could easily duplicate it and then insert the image and info box you want. All you'd have to do is duplicate. And then you got your next section ready to go. So yeah, that's a little summary on using the containers. I really like it. You don't have to use those columns as much anymore and play around with that. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.